Hello and welcome to the briefing for January 2017. For those of you who had a break over Christmas, welcome back. And for those of you that were working, I hope you found some time for rest and relaxation. I have three messages for you today. Some good news about the flu jab, a look at our finances, and some thoughts about the national picture and the sustainability and transformation plans. The new year brought a renewed focus on mental health when Theresa May spoke about the need to transform our attitudes with an emphasis on children and young people. I welcome this sustained national focus from government. As you may be aware, there is already a commitment to parity between the provision of physical and mental health services and as a trust we work constantly to hold the system and commissioners to this. Locally we're working with our partners all the time to bid for funds earmarked for mental health under the five-year forward view for mental health. For example in October we were successful in our bid for funds for a new perinatal mental health service in the community in the west of the Trust. We're now working with STP partners and commissioners on bids for funds for urgent care and for increasing access to psychological therapies. These opportunities will come up over the next few months and years and I'll try to keep you up to date with what happens. These partnerships are evolving through the sustainability and transformation plans or STPs. These are groups of health and social care providers across the country who are charged with finding new ways to deliver services to communities which cross traditional organisational barriers and boundaries. AWP is leading on mental health across the two STPs in our geographical area and as well we're leading on workforce transformation and development. You may not have heard a lot about STPs yet and so I would just like to let you know that we will make sure that there are many opportunities and a lot of information for you in the future to hear more about them, how they work and what they're planning to do. The latest plans are available on our website and do keep an eye on our space for more details of how you can get involved in the future. Now to finance. Look out for the second AWP Savings Bulletin, which should hit your email inboxes and notice boards soon. These, this bulletin gives a really clear update on how our savings plans are progressing and also gives you more idea about what you can do to contribute. What I'd like to say is that the good news is that our monthly overspend is decreasing. So we now spend £550,000 more than our income every month, but that's less than it was. If you translate that into a daily rate, that's £18,000 a day more than we have. If you think about it that way, I think it's quite clear that every single small thing that you do can contribute to helping us meet that overspend. And now to some really good news about our flu jab campaign. I want to say thank you to everyone who's had the flu jab and everyone who's been involved in delivering the flu jabs across the Trust. I'm really pleased to say that this year 1,820 of us had the flu jab compared to 1,242 last year. So that's a really good improvement and it makes an important contribution to the health of both you, our workforce and our service users. There's still time to get your flu jab in work. Just call 01249 468 086 and if you didn't catch that I'm sure someone with you will have it. The flu fighter team will arrange for a vaccinator to come to you. This should mean that we will achieve at least a part of the income for this national sequin for flu. Sequins are projects with attached income but we only realise the income by achieving a required level of performance. They do not represent extra money for us. So it's all really, it's important that we all understand how essential it is to fulfil our sequin requirements. 
So thank you again to you if you had the jab and to everyone who was part of delivering our flu fighter campaign. That's all for now. See you next month.